I want you to know that you are here, you, you don't have an appointment with me. Amen. Amen. You have an appointment with God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are here because you have what? Appointment with God. Appointment with who? With God. If you have appointment with God, I can meet you and you will know that God has touched you. Amen. But if you are just merely coming because of an appointment with the man of God, I cannot satisfy you. I'm just a human being. The one who can satisfy you lives inside of you. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I want you to know that whatever that you see happen to you today and after today is not brought to pass by me. Some of you, you are going to experience a radical transformation in your life after today. Amen. There are things that will happen to you that you yourself will not understand. You will not understand what is happening to you. Because power has conquered you. I want you to know that miracles, healing, deliverance, and blessings are not manufactured by us. It is purely the supernatural power of God walking through us. When the power of God touches you, you will feel different. Amen. Amen. Your career will be different. Amen. Your health status will be different. Amen. Your life will turn around, around, around. I mean, you will be pregnant with blessings. Amen. That is what I am called for. What I am living for and what I would like for. Those of you who are here on appointment with God, your case will not escape the anointing of God. Amen. I listen to people there, talking to people. A lot of you who have met me, you discover yourself for the first time. You discover your true calling for the first time. You discover your dream for the first time. Amen. I mean, you will see peace. Amen. That kind of peace that Satan cannot take away from you. Amen. 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 You need not only a man, but a man of God in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We have the grace given by God to talk to problems and tell them where to go and they must obey. We have the grace given by God to prophesy and tell you what you have never told anyone. We have the grace given by God to command sickness to leave you and the sickness will go. Yeah. We have the grace given by God to disconnect you from family idols, ancestral curses, and setback. We have the grace to stop those snakes, those demons you see in the dream. A man of God is a spiritual man and not a witch doctor. We cannot be placed on the same platform with witch doctors because their power is limited, but what we carry is unlimited. God cannot be measured by time and space. Therefore, when you are coming to God, give God your heart as a blank check and say, Father, sign anything you want to sign for you. When you are coming to God for a particular thing, then we are not on the same platform because if that thing is not given to you, you will soon criticize God. I came there because I wanted to be healed. Now the pain is just there. It means the thing is not working. You will not begin to call God. The thing is not <coughs> working. Do you believe God? Yes. You believe God? Yes, sir. The same God I'm talking about. The God of heaven. You believe that God? Yes, sir. Amen. We must agree. Jesus never attended to anyone without asking him, What do you want to do for you? In other words, he was asking, Do you believe? When you say yes, I believe, you will say, let it be unto you according to your faith. Amen. It means you need faith to buy a miracle. Take your neighbor. You need faith to buy a miracle. The highest millionaire can approach me and I will not attend to you. But a poor man without anything, homeless, can approach me and I will embrace him. Amen. Amen. Because we walk by faith, not by sight. 
people who are carrying a special thing from God, their lifestyle and their way of doing things is always a mystery to the carnally minded. Mystery, mystery, mystery. Beyond human discernment. So I am here to tell you that your case file has been opened. Amen. Touch you, power will touch you. Amen. I know who I am. Yes. The greatest mistake your challenge has made, the greatest mistake demons have made, is for allowing you to meet me. Oh, yes. That you are here and I am here. When the power of God will come upon you, that other power will pass. Amen. Satan has tormented you enough. You have been rejected enough. It is time for you to enjoy the full privilege of being part of what God created. Amen. No one is going to see the alignment. Amen. You are not here to get familiar to one of God to get used to me. No, no, no. I'm not looking for friends. I'm looking for disciples. People who have made up their mind to fight a good fight and to run the rest well are all Christians. Any sign that will follow you after today will walk for your goal. Amen! Any sign, if it's a negative sign, I prophesy what will turn into a positive sign. Amen! Any sign that will follow you after today will walk for your goal. Amen! 